Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Moto Aftermath Show channel here. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in here. Quick off-season video topic here. Um, before we get started, just want to thank uh, main sponsor of the show here, uh, Complete Racing Solutions. And this month, we want to do a sponsor highlight on them with the uh, with their energy fuel drink. Um, if you guys train moto train for basically anything this is a great hydration and kind of middle of the day drink here uh for when you're at the races there so make sure to hit up coach rob's store Dot com to pick up your energy fuel today. I use it at the races all the time in the summer when it's hot. It's awesome. Uh, re- it keeps me not only hydrated, it gives me nutrients and uh, sustenance that I need for the day to continue racing. So uh, again, make sure to pick yours up. Link in the description down below. Okay. Topic for this video, as I'm sure you've seen by the thumbnail and the title there. Deegan has, from my understanding, rented a house in in Cortez, Colorado, and is at the ET3 compound training Supercross with John and Eli Tomac. And this, to me, is wildly, wildly mind-blowing. Um, I We've all obviously seen people train with Eli in the past. Eli's kind of a lone wolf, so he pretty much does his own thing up in Cortez. He'll go to the goat farm or, like, California uh, to do some do some testing, he'll go to California a couple of weeks before the season starts and kind of just work his way into the lifestyle out there of the uh, of the West Coast tracks there. So he's so he's ready for a one. And like I said, to do some testing with the team. Um, and we've also seen guys go to Cortez and train with him. Obviously, Jeremy Martin was there for a little while before everything's kind of exploded with him here. And he's had these last few years of injuries. Um, Zach Osborne went out out there and trained with him so it's not completely completely out of the box for him to train with someone but the fact that he's training with quite possibly the biggest uh social media star of the sport at this current moment is absolutely incredible now will we ever see much more than a few iphone clips here and there of deegan ripping the cortez track with uh john tomac running a pit board for him i don't know i really hope we do I hope Deegan gets some gets some vlog footage from out there. I hope he gets Eli in the vlog. I think that would be killer. Um, but will we ever see it? I don't know. I don't know if that'll ever see the light of day. Uh, now, my understanding right now is that he's kind of out there. It's him and Duff. Um, like I said, he rented a house. He's out there. I have no idea how, how long he's out there for. I have no idea if this is the entire off season, if it's just part of it. It's it's a super interesting thing because most of the time those Star 250 guys, they are pretty much just dedicated to the goat farm and they are there just crushing motos. So this is an interesting move. I think it's a smart move. Don't get me wrong, because I will guarantee you that when uh, this was all discussed in in and amongst the Deegan family, this was pretty much Brian saying uh, saying to Hayden, hey, you go out there. You listen to every single word they say, and you don't say a damn thing. You just do what they tell you. You train. You take it all in because this right here is going to take us to the next level. And I honestly think it will. Um, Deegan, as I've said before, is much more of a bulldog than so much of a technical rider per se. Um, and and that's what Tomac is. Tomac is a bulldog and a machine. And so if he's out there learning from him... And learning from John and training at elevation, I mean, I had him picked as my favorite, and, and I'll say this, and this is very early, I have him picked as my favorite for the 2024 250 title, no matter which coast he's on, as well as the outdoor title. Like, he's the favorite. That's Hands down, that's all there is to it. However, now, with this, I mean, it just ups his stock price immensely, so... Um, like I said, I'll be interested to see if anything comes out as far as like vlog videos, because that would be super cool because we don't get a lot of content from Cortez there. Eli doesn't really post. We've seen a few videos where the verb guys have kind of gone up there. A couple monster videos. They've done some, uh, they've done some two stroke stuff and things up there. Um, but not a whole bunch of just like vlog content. So really, really interested to see. There was a picture that came up the other day of uh, Eli and Hayden's bike in the shop. And man, dude, it it gave me uh, it gave me original goat farm vibes of like the shop you can tell is a shop that someone uses. 
Um, it's not one of these race shops that these race teams have where they essentially pay the guys to keep it clean. It is a father and a son who race dirt bikes. Their stuff, it wasn't messy, messy, but their stuff, okay? Um, and then you just have these two Star Racing Factory bikes right in the middle from these two, like, just amazing, like, one legend and one up-and-coming legend. Like, it's just, it, it was an incredible picture, um, and I, I loved it. So uh, comment down below your thoughts on the whole Deegan training with Tomac situation there. And if you think this will help him or hinder him, thanks for tuning in. And we'll be back with some more short form video like this uh, for these off season updates.